What's up guys, Blade Master here, bringing you what is what could be one of the most short one-sided battles in the Big Blade Balance Tournament. This is round two um, battle fought between AK the Legend and Welshi. The reason why it could be the most, um, I, while I take a very cheeky screenshot, the, the trees look so nice. The weather, I mean, some. It, I think Rome 2 just randomizes the way the weather, the maps look. Uh, but sometimes it just looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, the reason why this is going to be, why this could be a very one-sided match is because um, Welshi has brought Rome, while uh, AK has brought, <laughs> as you can see by the timer, AK has brought the Roxolani. But here's the thing that's going to go well for, uh, for AK. The Roxolani... Uh, are improved greatly because they have, um, you know, the all nomads have horse archers which have elite, which are elite tier and have 20 ammo, and all nomads benefit the most from the buff to melee and shock cavalry, which increases their mass by around 15 percent. But the things that doesn't benefit that that don't benefit AK is the fact that a lot a lot of the map is uh, forested, and at the end of the day, Rome is not a faction to fuck with. Um, but let's see. If, this is a rule-breaking rule army brought by Welshi. We can see a total of five Triarii. There's max of four of the same unit, but even those guys are not going to help out. Yeah, it's Rome, nothing to fuck with, but a four tri five Triarii Rome is definitely something that you can fuck with, with Roxolani, uh, especially with a Roxolani that has access to its complete roster. You can see a total of three Belay Slingers. We can see uh, four, uh, four Legionaries, uh, a couple of three or four Hastati, and a total of four equities. I don't like Whoa, shit. Lord. And okay, so first of all, the equities here have already gotten into uh, combat, so he's going to lose. Well, she's going to lose two. Okay, this is probably going to be uh, how not to use Rome against uh, the Nomads. You can't waste two of your equities like this. Uh, Draco popped with the Sarmatian Horsemen. Step Noble Lancer is coming in. And then the equities have got barely a kill before getting completely destroyed. This equity didn't get a single kill. And just got swarmed by the by the Roxolani. Uh, you know, AK didn't even use his uh, ammo to kill them off. So that was probably the biggest gift that uh, Welshi could give. Let's see what um, AK has brought besides that. Total of uh, six Sarmatian horsemen, I would imagine. Yeah, mainstay of a Roxolani army. Draco for cheap is makes everyone weep. Makes Draco for cheap makes the Romans weep. Wow, blade poet master confirmed. Um, a total of three mer mercenary Amazonian uh, riders and three step horse archers. So we see uh, AK not bringing a single elite horse archer. Not doesn't care for the extra five ammo, I think. Um, and instead has gone for punching power in uh, the step noble lancers. Total of three, four, uh, five, and the, the, there should be a sixth step noble lancer, or maybe it's just five step noble lancer with a Sarmatian royal lancer, very heavy shock cavalry. Of course, you might be wondering, why did I say Rome was rule-breaking with five uh, Triarii? That's because all factions except Nomads have a max four of the same unit rule, whereas the Nomads have a max six and... Um, no, they have a max eight of the same unit and max six horse archers. Because Nomads at the end of the day have a very limited roster, as fun as it might be to play and to watch. It is very limited in terms of uh, variety. Okay, so... Uh, Quite the box and quite the camp from Welshi. Some of his uh, units are not um, in the forest. Can't forest camp in the uh, in Blade Balance though. Let's see how many. One, two, three, four, four-ish units are not uh, camping. So at least twenty-five, uh, at least seventy-five percent of your army needs to be away from the forest and need cannot be in the forest for it to be considered, uh, you know, not forest camping. Or AKA, if you have more than 25% of your army in, uh, in, judged by the number of units in the forest, then it's considered camping. So definitely well, a bit of camping, but you can't really blame him. And on the other hand, you can't really call it camping so soon because he hasn't, maybe he's going to make some moves, who knows. Either ways, hardly a chance for, <laughs> for Welshi, I have to say. Let's uh, get some cinematic action from these. Actually, no, let's not. Let's just push this like this. And Step Noble Lancers charge straight into uh, Triarii all across uh, on one side. And uh, they're going to pull away because, of course, you cannot pull through in the Blade Balance. 
uh, blade, big blade balance tournament. Now, Sarmation Royal Lance is going to come in after he popped uh, uh, the um, uh, Draco ability, which removes bracing. The Triari haven't gotten a single kill and just massive amounts of uh, charges going on. Uh, Triari here losing so many men. And here the Hastadi have gotten pummeled by uh, Sarmation Horsemen, losing a lot of men there. Of course, they have no bracing. And some of the Sarmation Horsemen actually caught some of the, uh, the Blade Slingers on the charge, but now they're being pulled away. Can't really call that uh, pulling through because the the Belay slingers were literally right next to them. Sarmation Royal Lancer General coming in for a second charge, almost got a single XP chevron, just emptying out those uh, Triaria. And here the ooh, ouch Equites just got destroyed by Step Noble Lancers, and some of the Triaria also f uh, faced the uh, the brunt of that charge. Again, Step Noble Lancers pulling away, not letting themselves get uh, hit by the Triaria and their spears. Triaria popped into square formation, and here. The um, Step Noble Lancers destroy the Equites. The Sarmatian Horsemen here actually got killed by the Equites, but then, you know, the um, uh, the uh, Horse Archers is going to make mincemeat out of them. Legionaries, Legionary Cohort here fired some javelins onto the Sarmatian Horsemen, but they're going to kill off the, the Hastati. And all across the field, just pulling away. Very easy, you know, not very easy, but it's micro intensive, but it's straightforward. Rinse and repeat, pull, uh, charge in, pull out, charge in, pull out. And after, even if you lose all of your shock cavalry, as long as you maybe kill one or two of the Balearic Slingers, all you, then after that you, you have your horse archers to just wipe out the rest. Sarmatian horsemen just uh, ganging up and killing off a Triari, uh, sorry, a Stadi. This Sarmatian horsemen going to charge into Triari and... Uh, sorry, a legionary cohort and Hastati. It's taking them multiple charges to break these guys down. Of course, they have 60 health, great armor, and the fact is that they are in the um, they are in the forest, so they are going to take extra uh, protection from racing there. Bit of pull through here, actually going on. Uh, yeah, you can't say that this isn't pull through because he's purposely pushing through the Hastati, but they were wavering. Uh, Step Noble Lancers here charged into Triari. Actually, yeah, I mean. If it comes to if it comes down to stuff like this that you know rules have been broken rules have been broken on both sides so you can't really blame uh, you know AK the legend either uh, the triaria here destroyed of course and um, uh, legionary cohort here getting charged at by Sarmatian horsemen who've done really well uh, general legatus is uh, coming in to try and chase after them step noble lancers single XP chevron some of the step noble lancers have gotten single XP chevrons you can expect these guys to get good kills but very often nomadic players you know tend to value the step noble lances a bit too much honestly I, the way i feel it is uh, the, the 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 real value of course step noble lances are of incredible value let me first uh, let me put this in slow motion and try and take a very nice cinematic screenshot of romans getting bowled over whoa levitating roman he's just sleeping on the air um, ooh, I can take a... Okay. So, the what I was trying to say is that... Uh, what was I trying to say? I'm not really sure. Let, let's just... I, I want to take the screenshot more than anything else. Boom. Okay. So, you know, if it... The Step Noble Lancers, yeah. The Step Noble Lancers are a very, very good unit. But the, the elite units of the nomadic tribes are just so incredibly strong that it's very hard for for them to get destroyed by slingshots and stuff at the end of the day step noble lance's real downfall is their armor 40 armor is very very poor and compare that to the general which is over here half strength 90 armor 110 health they are uh, a lot more resilient to missiles they don't have any extra missile block sense i would assume but they just have higher armor so it makes them harder to to kill and uh, it looks like a fairly standard victory for uh, AK the Legend and the Roxalani. Some of the mercenary uh, Amazonian riders dying to the Belair Slingers who got a single XP Chevron. Of course, uh, they just were shooting to death all the Step Noble Lancers that still remained. Legionary Cohort 48, 52. There's a Triaria with 41, but it looks like army losses and everyone's wavering now. So yeah, nothing much that uh, the Romans could do, even though they were parked in the, uh, in the forest in the middle of the map. 
Well played to AK the Legend, despite that uh, the apparent pull through that uh, you know that we could see through the hostility to get the Belarus Slingers. But the fact that uh, well she brought a fifth extra Triaria, which is probably the most important unit that the Romans can bring to counter um, a nomadic tribe, conveniently um, you know makes it like two wrongs do make a right in this case. The Step Noble Lancers doing decently for the most part. One of them actually did very well. Sarmatian Horsemen, excellently done. And Sarmatian Royal Lance is kind of a disappointment, but didn't really need to use them all that much. And when you have a, a nomadic army that doesn't use any of the horse archers, you know that it was uh, facing up against an army it knew it could vanquish. Cool replay still to watch, and uh, thank you to AK for sending it. Be sure not to pull through anymore in, the, in your later matches, and hope you guys enjoyed it, and stay tuned for more.